What, what is, is an, an antibody? antibody? A blood protein produced in response to encountering a specific antigen, antibodies combine chemically with a substance which the body recognizes as alien, such as bacteria, viruses, and foreign substances in the blood. After knowing what is an antibody, let's see its types. Means, what are their types? There are five different antibody isotopes seen in the body, namely IgG, IgA, IgM, IgE, and IgD. Now, let us see in brief what are their respective functions. IgG, uh, it is an antibody that is built by immunization. It activates an immune cascade that eliminates some form of infections. IgG can also neutralize certain toxins. Now the IgA. IgA is the antibody isotype that is found in usually mucosal areas such as mouth and the vagina. It is also found in saliva, tears and breast milk. IgA is formed by two Ig subunits bound together. When IgA binds to a target, it can stimulate inflammation. In mucosal areas, IgA can also keep pathogens from sticking to epithelial cells. IgM IgM is one of the first types of antibody to be produced after a pathogen has entered the body. Since it is made up of 5 Ig subunits bounded together, it has very high activity. It sticks very strong to its target. IgM is very important in the early stage of an infection. IgM sometimes appears when an infection becomes reactive, such as with herbs outbreak. It can also appear when someone is re-exposed to a disease they have got previously. IgE. IgE is the antibody that is responsible for the allergic response. It is mostly found in the lungs, skin and mucous membranes. When IgE bends to an allergen, it starts the histamine reaction. It's the histamine reaction that causes the symptoms of an allergy attack. This single subunit antibody also helps to protect the body from parasitic worms. IgD IgD is the important in the early stage of immune response. Bound to B cells, it does not circulate. Instead, it signals those cells to become active. This can help to stimulate inflammation. IgD is the least understood type of antibody and its functions are still being discovered. Antibodies and the four key features of the immune system. Specificity of the antibodies. Antibodies are precisely recognized toxins and pathogens. Second, diversity of antibodies. Antibodies against a variety of antigens pre-exist in the body. Third, immunological memory. We don't develop a symptom of measles. This means the cells have a memory of previous antigens that have intruded the body. Fourth, immune tolerance. Cell cells and tissues are not normally attacked, means the cells do not attack themselves.